hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Ninia Yasmin and for today's video I wanted to kind of just give some tips or advice and things to be mindful of for anyone who is interested in or who is personally already on their self-help self-discovery journeys I hope that will make more sense as we jump into the video. I don't like long intros anyway, so let's just go ahead and get started. I will start off with, I think in today's society, because we have a number of online platforms and social media platforms, we've seen a rise in the conversation or topics regarding mental health and I think people in my generation and definitely generations younger than me we are seeing people more comfortable with speaking on their feelings of depression, anxiety, loneliness, confusion and really just life's real life problems. Um, again, just the topic of mental health has really been on the rise within the last few years, which I think is amazing and it is absolutely necessary and important conversations to be having. But as a result of that, we've also seen movements such as the self-help movement, spiritual journey, words and phrases like positive vibes only, manifest manifestation, meditation these kind of movements and topics have also been on the rise they've become really popular and kind of trendy within the last few years i think it is great that we have those kind of outlets you know for people that are interested in figuring things out or doing better for themselves and i understand the intentions behind these kind of conversations are good they are meant to wish someone well they can kind of be misleading what I mean by that is I think although you do want someone to think positively about themselves or their situations saying things like that can also be dismissive of their feelings as well as it can kind of just disregard the truth or the reality that were in in general i felt compelled to start this conversation and make this video because i can personally relate to that i know i talk about 21 year old me all the time that's literally when my life changed i at that time had just graduated so i was trying to figure out adulting i was trying to figure out who i was and at that same time i unfortunately was dealing with the transition of my father who passed away three weeks before my college graduation so I remember vividly feeling those emotions as well that is what opened me up to my own personal self-help journey and spirituality journey and at the time you know the books I read the interviews and podcasts that I was listening to the videos I was watching initially they were helpful and they did help me feel better about you know just to keep going they did kind of give me that motivation and inspiration to keep going but as time passed I felt like the, that kind of information could only get me so far and it wasn't really digging deep enough in order to really get to the root of what I was going through what I was experiencing and so I couldn't really figure out how to overcome that the best example I can give is kind of like putting a band-aid over an open wound you might temporarily fix the problem by stopping the bleeding but over time in the long run you didn't actually heal the wound so it may actually end up in a worse position than it started off with or again it, it can't figure out how to really return back to its natural state <laughs> that's the best metaphor i could come up with and i know these conversations are important to have because i know there are a lot of people that come online and portray something that they may not necessarily be in real life we know it's very easy to portray something on social media 
and then in real life that's not who or what they are hello guys so i was editing my video and i saw some things that i forgot to mention and so instead of just re-recording this video i'm gonna throw <laughs> these shots in there so what i want people to be mindful of when we see you know things trending or being popul popularized like the self-help movement and you know sayings positive vibes only i manifested this i've created my dream life this way again i know the intentions behind those movements are good but i just want people to be aware of the fact that it is easy for people to take advantage of their audiences that way as well because when you are already dealing with a group of people that are vulnerable or you know just feeling like they are kind of hopeless or can't figure things out these kind of movements now that they're popular they're the thing to talk about it is easy for people to give you just enough to keep you coming back and you know to make you feel like you're doing some work or you're make you feel like you're moving forward but they don't always give you the tools necessary in order to really you know dig deep and get to the root of what you are experiencing and i know when you hear sayings like positive vibes only or you know someone's telling you they manifested their dream life and they can teach you how to do the same thing if you just you know follow my steps of one two three or whatever i remember trying to follow challenges like that and it can be further isolating because now not only are you dealing with the challenges that initially brought you to this, but now you feel bad about not being positive all the time. And now you think it's something wrong with you when really the information is misleading in itself. I think it's okay to not feel bad about not always feeling super productive or super motivated or super positive. The opposite emotions are very real and you don't have to disregard those or try to bury those feelings for the sake of you know someone telling you to just always be positive because that is really hard and it can just make you be harder on yourself when you are already down. I think why statements like positive vibes only are really triggering for me is because now I understand that that is not real <laughs> in life you have to understand and be open to the fact that you cannot have a positive without negative it is more so i think more beneficial to find balance or a way to coexist with positivity and negativity instead of completely disregarding negativity as if it doesn't exist because it does for example if you have a remote control and you need batteries in it, you need a positive and negative in order to create a reaction or to gain connection. And you can relay that same method to life itself. And I think as a society, connection is necessary. That is literally what we need is connection. And if you're only focused on the positive and dismissive of the neg negative, then that connection is literally not possible. What really started to change the direction of where I was going or where I wanted to get was one, changing my perspective and outlook on life in general and just my entire thought process, but two, being open, honest, and really vulnerable with myself. I want to actually define vulnerability. I'm gonna read it off of my phone, and that means the quality or state of being exposed to the possibility of being attacked or harmed this is either physically or emotionally i think that's life in general i think what helps me again is just being honest and open and accepting of the fact that that is the truth again there are no guarantees we have no way of knowing what is to come so i completely understand why that's a scary place to be in and why many people choose to just focus on the positive but for anyone that is really trying to dig deep and figure things out for themselves you may want to reconsider so i think with vulnerability a lot of people focus on the possibility of something bad happening but at the same time when you are in a vulnerable state you also have the possibility of 
enjoying positive emotions, joy, happiness, love, connection, value, and things of that nature too. And so for me personally, again, I don't think I'm at a point where I have this all figured out. I am still on my own journey and I understand that that is life itself. Life itself is a journey. So I am not coming to you guys as if I have everything figured out or I have these clear cut solutions for you guys. But I think what has worked for me and what has changed my life to allow me to get to the point that I'm at right now is again, reminding myself of just being as open and honest as I can be. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I definitely struggle with it. I think this YouTube channel is a way for me to practice being seen and talking about things that are uncomfortable and being honest about uncertainty. But I'm learning that the more exposed that I feel, instead of trying to shield these emotions as if I'm the only person experiencing them, I am understanding and realizing that a lot of other people can relate to these feelings as well. And that is why I wanna have these conversations. That's why I wanna share these kind of conversations to this space, you know, as a reminder to other people that it is okay to experience these human feelings and that you're not alone. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of hard for me to even make this video, but, I'm still gonna do it and um, I hope it is well received and I'm going to stop it there. Appreciate all the support from you guys. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video and that's it for now. Thank you.